I see. Absolutely. I do. The next one I think we're going to talk about is my favorite. It's my favorite in the, yes, it's the next matchup <sighs> with Nashville and Detroit is my most exciting in the West that we talked about on Off the Bench last night. It just, it has so much in it. Go ahead and discuss. You want to go? No, go ahead. All right. Um, I actually like this one a little more than the Penguins and Flyers one. I love, don't get me wrong, I'm a big Penguins fan. You know, I'm excited about this matchup. But you don't hear a lot about the West, and, you know, I'm not really... Yeah. All I care about is the Penguins. Like, I love the NHL, and it's great to see this kind of matchup. Um, unfortunately, I know Penguins fans who are listening aren't going to like this. I know, I feel Detroit's going to win this matchup against Nashville, but I just like this setup. Nashville is another team I compare a lot to St. Louis. You know, who's scoring out there for them? Nobody, but they have a great goalie, and they have two of the best defensemen in the league. And yeah. Shea Weber and Ryan Suter, so, but it's the Detroit, you know, legacy. Whenever you hear the Red Wings, you always think that they're gonna they're gonna win. And even if Zetterberg had a down year, I just when they get into the playoffs, like I said, it's different. And when you compare their talent to Nashville's, I think that you know the Red Wings have a big advantage. Maybe not on defense, but definitely on offense. So, um, you know, I kind of agree. With you and the fact that Detroit might win. Yeah. Just because they're <coughs> probably in Nashville's head at this point. Because yeah. the last two seasons, they've, the Detroit Red Wings have knocked them out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So if I were them, I'd be like, oh, not these guys. Again. Yeah, yeah. You I'd know? be tired of them. They're a good team, but every year, older, older, older. Yeah. So I think Nashville's finally going to beat them really? this year. Alexander Radulov's going to tear it up. <laughs> he's so good. I Yikes. can't even take it. I hate him, but it, he's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just I always go with Detroit. You know, Nashville is young, a lot younger than the Red Wings, but uh, Jimmy Howard's been doing well. Even though is he still – he's had those injury problems, though. He had dr- groin injuries. He fractured his finger. Yeah. I don't even know if he's healthy yet. And I'm behind fairly them, certain that he's yeah. in. But behind them, who do they have? Joey McDonald? Yeah. yeah I mean, Joey if something McD- happens yeah. – Ty- It's Ty Conklin, actually, I think. Yeah. Is it Ty Conklin? Yeah. I thought they cut him, but uh, – <laughs> I mean, I just – I like the way Detroit plays, and Datsuk, even you said older, 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 older. I feel like every year he just gets better, even if he does get older. Well, so He probably loses a step, but he just learns how to dangle that much yeah. better. You know, I, It's it's a really good matchup, and I, like we were talking about, I think both 5-4 matchups are really good, but I still have Detroit, and I think I have them in six. Bree, do you know how tall Pecorino is? Isn't he like 6-6? Six, six? He's 6-5. Six, yeah. How are you going to shoot a puck past that man? Yeah, Pecorino... Definitely up there, and a lot, and a fact that neither of you guys brought up, and something I talked about last night, was Detroit's road record isn't the greatest, no. and Nashville has that edge, mm-hmm. having home ice advantage, and and Nashville's good, on, Nashville's over five hundred on both home and road, and Detroit obviously point. we know is awesome at home. That's a factor that I think Nashville's gonna take right into game one, and no, yeah. I know you said that Detroit might be in their head a little bit. Maybe once they're in Detroit, but I think Nashville is going to come out game one and two and show them that you're on our turf. There we go. We earned this fourth seed over you, and they're going to show it to them. Yeah. I have Nashville in this series. It's seven games, but I, I have Nashville. You both have Nashville? I have Nashville I just, seven. like, you guys were talking about the age factor. Mm-hmm. If it goes to seven games, I think it's going to hinder Detroit. Not and definitely. Nashville's with Pekka Rene and Nett. They're just gonna have that solid. Yeah. Forty-three wins led the NHL. Yeah. I didn't even know he had the most. I yeah. thought Flurry had the most, but he came. No, Flurry. No. Flurry was getting there, but yeah. then that three-game losing streak we had. He just when he was going to tie Tom Barrasso's franchise record. He, he didn't feel like doing he, it this season. No, he, I guess not because. He's he, yeah. Uh, season series between them three apiece. They've both won three times, and I, I think Nashville has two wins in Detroit. Oh, and, in uh, Detroit! Wow. Yeah. That's tough. They were like, and they're probably the best. Detroit has team. one win in Nashville, so what was, what well, was their record at home? Like, they didn't they win like twenty? They won twenty one. They won twenty three straight. They're thirty one. Yeah. Where is it? Thirty one seven and three. That's obscene. Yeah. yeah, that's so good. So, I just you know you're never gonna know. Uh, yeah, I mean, looking at it though, they really only have five more home wins than Nashville. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Nashville. Being twenty six, ten and five at home. Wow, they're really good at home too. Yeah, so that's what I mean with Detroit's <coughs> losing 
road record going into a Nashville winning home record. I just think that matchup's really going to help Nashville, and Nashville's fans are going to be excited. They were excited last year that they were starting to yeah. get somewhere. Get excited, yeah. finally. Yeah. They're they on a team be. on the rise. Yeah. Definitely. St. Louis and them, I just, in the next couple of years, watch out, because now that those players are going to turn into veterans, the kind of goaltending that they both have. Absolutely. I'd be afraid. And uh, I just, like I said, I think Nashville has the edge over Detroit in this seven Absolutely. games. That's what you have, too? Oh, Nashville in seven. Detroit in six. Woo. Guess we'll just have to see. <clears throat> that was your Western Conference. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll go over the Eastern Conference. Keep it here. You're listening to Slapshot Snapshot on 91.7 WCUCFM, The Clutch. <laughs> Welcome back here to Slapshot Snapshot on 91.7 WCUCFM. I'm your host, Bree Lehman. Joining me today, we have James and Tyler back again. What's up? Yo. <laughs> We're going to move on to the Eastern Conference. Some exciting matchups here. Some unexpected matchups with the shakeup right at the end. But yeah, let's let me pull it up so I don't say it wrong. But we have number one, New York. Against, like I said, unexpected, number eight, Ottawa. What do you have? Uh, um, <laughs> that was quite a surprise at the end of the year. Uh, didn't expect it. No, we That's all what a surprise that, means, I guess. Huh? Yeah. What that? Thought that, you know, Ottawa if, if uh, Washington <laughs> was going to get in, that they'd get in at the eighth seed. Get but the then seed. Ottawa, there in the end, was... Tanked. Yeah, they did. One point there, the three seed. No, two seed. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they were. They no, were no, no, for three. a while, but. Sure? Yeah, because they had less points in Florida, but they took over Boston's. Yeah, Florida. We'll get to that soon. Yeah. Uh, Ottawa? Yeah, they tanked at the end of the season, but uh, I like Ottawa. So. That makes one of us. And, you know, Carlson, Spezza, McCulloch. You know, that's as far as you need to go. And Craig Anderson. I don't know how, but Craig Anderson always plays well. And he's always, you know, making these ridiculous saves. And it's just, he had a solid season. It's good, yeah. This before year. he had that accident in his kitchen where he cut his yeah, hand or something. Himself. Oh gosh, I don't even know how to get in that one. But uh, you want our picks for this one? I mean, discuss the series right. and what, what you think. Um, it's gonna be tough. You know, New York is New York. They almost won the Presidents Cup. They were the team to beat in the East. And you know, they they got players. They got Gabrick, Richards. Anisimov, who I really like, you know, even being a Penguins fan, I like Artem Anisimov. Yeah, there's Callahan. a lot on their team that... It's just, uh, they have a great core of players. I don't like the Rangers, but they do. And, you know, with Hank in the net, you can't beat Henrik Lundqvist. No. You know, if he doesn't win the Vezina this year, I'll be a little shocked. I was going to say, I'd be really surprised if he didn't win the um, I Even though goalies did make a great push at the end of the season to really up their stats, I, you know, he's the best goaltender in the world right now. So... You know, the Rangers are a good team, and you like to see the underdog win sometimes, and, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen, but, uh, you know, I like Ottawa in seven over the New York Rangers. Bold Ottawa, prediction. Ottawa is 3-1. and one. On like, this, yeah, Rangers on Rangers and Ottawa are 3-1. That is the big point. I have a friend who's a Senators fan, and that's the big point that he likes to push to me, that Ottawa's 3-1 and one over them on the series. I, I wasn't aware they had fans. <laughs> yeah. Ottawa. He's, he's from Ottawa. Oh so. wow! Okay. Ottawa, both or two of their wins in New York. Yeah. It's on the big stage, MSG. And you know the one seed always falters sometime, and even if it's early, I like Ottawa in seven. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I do like Ottawa because McCulloch yes. set a thirty-five goals this year. Yes. Yeah. That's impressive. Jason Spezza, thirty-four goals. Yes. He had like eighty-four points, I think. Yeah, he really. They're, but. When you think about it, that's just their top line. Yeah. yeah. Where else After are they that, getting scoring? Felino, but Nick Felino is not the answer. Ugh. I don't like his face, <laughs> Nick Felino. They have Eric Carlson. He might win the Norris. He could. He, had he a really could now. Season. I know we ha- we were the ones to have the trophy discussions oh. 
We didn't have you. You had oh, him then. He took him. I took yeah. Eric Carlson if I remember pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. But you now, chose, now it's pretty. I <laughs> chose Jason Spezza for, for MVP. Listen, if it's the team, how they would fare without this player, or what they would actually be without this player, uh-huh. I honestly still think that Ottawa would be nothing without Jason Spezza. Should we go back to my pick, Steven Stamkos? Okay, well, they didn't even goals. make the playoffs. <laughs> what would they be without Steven Stamkos? <laughs> you didn't know he was going to have 60 goals. Don't lie. I didn't say you Go ahead, Bree. Sorry. No, it's... He's blowing continu- me off. <laughs> You're continuing your... My uh, rant about Ottawa. I think New York, I mean, they floundered a little bit in the regular season, but once again, this is the playoffs. Mm-hmm. This yeah. isn't the regular season. They're going to roll through Ottawa. They're going to beat them in four games. A sweep. Wow. Oh, you have them sweeping? Sweeping. No. Ah, see, I no. give Ottawa more credit than that. I did take into consideration that Ottawa has beaten New York this year. However, it's the playoffs. New York's going to come out ready to go. And they're, they're going to win. I have New York winning in six. Ottawa when in seven. When you just look at <laughs> what New York has, you can't beat it. They're obviously the best in the East for a reason. You can't. It's... Too big of a monster for Ottawa to defeat. Jump now, if Ottawa would have matched up against Boston, that's a different story. That I think case. that that one could have been more of an upset. But if there's an eight seed, an eight seed defeating a one seed, I think it would be more likely LA to defeat Vancouver than Ottawa to defeat New York. Valid point. I agree. Top thirty scores: New York Rangers one, Marion Gabrick. Two for Ottawa, Spezza, Carlson. Just throwing that out there. Top goalie, Henrik Lundqvist. Hank, where's Craig Anderson? Hey. Where is Anderson? Hey. You only need Craig to play, what, four games that he can do well in. That's all you need. So just keep going. I'm I mean, just telling you. Yeah. I got to spice may, it up a little bit, and yeah, I'm saying. Oh, obviously, there would be nothing if we all agreed. You know, I And it's a valid point. I'm, I, like I said, I don't want to take anything away from Ottawa. No, they had no. a very surprising season. I mean, who came in? To the regular season saying, oh, yeah, Ottawa's going to make a splash. Yeah. No one. No, no one. one. No, and that's the reason. They were, they were supposed to fight for the number one overall pick. Yeah, exactly. And I think they had Ottawa. I was looking at this. At the beginning of the season, their power rankings, uh, according to ESPN, Ottawa was, th- was 30. Yeah. Dead last. Wow. Yeah. And they finished, I think, about 15 or 16. Okay, Obviously, so they made yeah. one of those spots. I just, you know, Ottawa comes in here. Everyone thinks the Rangers are just going to roll. I've seen Henrik Lundqvist uh, get scored on a lot before. Oh, you know, it doesn't yeah. happen often, no. but I've seen it happen. And they have three out of four games they've won, and twice in Madison Square Garden. So, I'm, you know, I just I want to go. I'm going to stay with Ottawa in seven. Good Interesting choice. Good so, like I said, I'm not going to take anything away from that. <laughs> but I, I just think that New York has the overall power. So, 